of my channel. Well, I brought you again out to Wickley Hall Woods. Uh, today we're out foraging. Not for edibles, but lightables. Yeah, my last video, you would notice that I struggled lighting a fire. So today we are foraging for fatwood. Uh, not staying out tonight, even though I have uh, commandeered somebody's shelter. <laughs> Looks alright, doesn't it? Anyway, no, we're out foraging for fatwood today. Uh, Weekly Hall Wood is a dominantly pine, pine woodland, and um, yeah, which is rich with fatwood. Basically, it's a resin in in the branches, um, like a self-defence to sturdy up the branch. But it's quite flammable. It's handy for starting campfires. So yeah, got a couple of beers going up tonight. Give them a go. And as I say, I'm not staying out. Just a little trip out. Because I don't know about anybody else. With all this uh, carnage with the fuel situation, yeah, it's starting to send me off my head. So, what's the best thing to do when you're stressed out? Come out to the woodland, of course. Anyway, guys. Yeah, I'm going to sit here for a minute and just soak up the scenery. Beautiful. I am right next to a foot bath. So, yeah, people keep wandering past. I'm sitting here like a lunatic talking to myself. <laughs> but I don't care. But anyway, yeah. Foraging. Happy days. <coughs> well, I'm moving away from that uh, bit, of, that little bit of space. Just because it's pretty much wide open. And without sounding funny, I've got, I come out to the woods to get away from people, you know, especially in this current climate. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, let's do what we come out here to do. Do some foraging. Yeah, let's go and find a nice quiet spot. Yeah. And show you what this uh, fatwood is, is all about. Uh, I'm going to stick to the uh, little tracks. Yeah. So I've got my lantern in one hand. But yeah, I'm going to want to get away from the public path. You know, people look like there's a weirdo in the woods talking to himself. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go and find some fat wood guys. Yeah. For the tinder pouch. Uh, Anyway guys, found a good example, fallen and pine, uh, it's not rotten, it's pretty solid, so yeah, let's have a look see what we can find on this one, shall we? I'll have a go again this bit. Got a bit, but not a lot. Yeah, see the darker bits? Yeah, that's fatwood. Now, it's not a massive amount in there, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I want to bother with that bit. I'm going to probably carry on looking. But that's what you're after, and if you smell it, yeah, it smells like beautiful pine furniture, it's beautiful. But yeah, there's not a massive amount in that, so I'll let that decay and get back to the forest. Have another look. Stick your pair, mate. Stick your pair. Oh, mate, am I in focus, mate? Yeah. Yeah, so it's getting quite late in the afternoon now. It must be about five o'clock or something. So I'm going to start heading back before it gets too dark. I still want to process some of the, the foraging I've done already. Yeah, get that ready. <coughs> so it's, as I say, it's always handy to have this stuff in your, in your tinder pouch just so you can you know, get your fire going in the future. I'm going to show you another couple of tricks as well, what you can have in your tinder pouch. 
uh, which is handy to know you know if you're out while camping and stuff but yeah have one of them for a start but yeah let's go and find another bit kind of fault in it <laughs> Hi guys, back home now. Got a few specimens. Some nice bits and all. Uh, that was not so great. But still worth keeping. Anyway, a job like this, gonna need me knife. Probably split that. Right mate, right mate, let's have a look, let's have a look. That bit's getting perfect. Come up. As you notice, I'm keeping it like this because all the shavings do make perfect kindling. Because it's got fat wood in it. So I'm keeping some of that. In fact, I want to keep all of this. I'm just going to find somewhere safe to keep it. I've got a nice little supply. But yeah. So when you come to your fire, you scrape some of this off of your back of your knife onto your fire. I'm going to add a few of the little bits as well to the pouch. And that's all good. So now we're going to find somewhere to keep that. That would be handy. But yeah, that bit is perfect. But unfortunately you're going to have to wait till the next video to see that in action. It's going in the pouch, but I'm going to tidy that up a bit more. Just so I get to the darker wood. But that, that is perfect. Yeah, not too small, so I can literally shave it off. Anyway guys, bit of fat wood. Nice bit of fat wood there. I ain't setting a fire up in the back garden, I'll end up pissing off my neighbours, but so like you got like, you know, some feather sticks maybe, I'll show you how to do them later. But yeah, you scrape the back of your knife, so you get some fine shavings into the fire. And then you gotta imagine, you know, probably got some feather sticks or something like that. Get your fair wood. And it will slide, but you'll have to wait until Scotland to see that. But anyway, that will do me for this one. If you like this channel, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next. Ta-da!